Hi everyone, welcome back. So your PC says it can't run Windows 11. Maybe it doesn't have a TPM, maybe secure boot is turned off, or maybe your processor is too old. Don't worry, you can still upgrade, and today I'll show you exactly how to do it. Let's get started. Step one, we need to download the Windows 11 ISO. Open a browser, and let's search for Windows 11 ISO download. Click on the official Microsoft link. Scroll down to where it says download Windows 11 disk image. From the drop down, let's pick Windows 11 multi edition ISO and click on confirm. Now it will ask you for your product language. If you're not sure to check, click on the start, go to settings. Go to time and language, then region. Under regional format, you'll see the language you're using right now. Go back to the download page and select the same one for your ISO download. Then click confirm and finally 64 bit download. Now it's about 5.4 gigabytes, so give it some time to download. Once the ISO is ready, the next step is to bypass Microsoft's hardware check. For that, we'll use a free tool called Flyobi, which you can get from the GitHub. I left the link in the descriptions below. Once you're at this page, scroll down and under download, select the latest version. As of today, the latest version is 1.5 and click on this download Flyobi link. It's a small file, so it should download quickly. Now you might see this browser warning. This is a totally safe file, so you could go ahead and click on the download option. Once downloaded, let's go to where you downloaded it. Right click on the zip file and extract it. Inside, let's double click on the exe file. Now you might see this window preventing installation because it can't recognize the publisher. But this is a clean open source app. So just click on the more info and click on run anyway. And you should now see this flyobi window. Now we could have skipped downloading the Windows 11 ISO manually and just clicked on this link. Click select an option, then select ISO from local computer. Browse to where the Windows 11 ISO was downloaded earlier and open it. Flyobi will mount the ISO and start the setup. When you see the Windows setup appear, just click on next. And now all the hardware checks will be bypassed with no TPM or secure boot errors. Accept the terms, then choose keep personal files and apps so you don't lose anything. Or if you want to install a fresh copy of Windows 11, just select nothing. Click on next, then hit install. And from here, just relax. The installation will take some time and your PC will restart few times. And once it's done, you should not be on Windows 11. All your files and apps should still be there where you left them. And now to save space, let's go ahead and delete the Windows 11 ISO and the Flyobi app as well. That's it, Windows 11 is ready to go. If this video helped you, please like and subscribe and let me know in the comments if this worked for you. And thank you for watching.